Hello everyone, my name is Michelle. In today's vlog, we're going to explore Fujian province string puppet art. We will visit two different cities in Fujian, and our first stop is to visit the Quanzhou Maritime Museum. After soaking in all that maritime history, we headed over to have lunch then to Trenjo Sri Puppet Art Protection Center where we're gonna learn about this ancient and mesmerizing art form. The art of Trenjo Sri Puppetry is truly something special. It's a blend of intricate craftsmanship and delicate performance. Each puppet tells the story through its unique design and the way it's brought to life on stage. We were also fortunate to witness a live performance from the backstage, getting up close to see how these puppets come to life. After the performance, we had the chance to interview some of the audience. Many of them have traveled from afar just to witness this unique art form. It's clear that the charm of this traditional puppet art draws people from all over the country. The day after the performance, we were given a rare backstage tour and interview where we got an up-close look at how these puppets are brought to life. Our team didn't miss the chance to ask some burning questions. It was a lively and engaging session with everyone eager to dive deeper into the art of puppetry. This visit was a deep dive into a world where tradition meets creativity. If you ever find yourself in Trencho, I highly recommend experiencing this incredible facade of the city's culture firsthand. The following day, we took a high-speed train to Zhangzhou, diving into another incredible form of puppet art, the glove puppetry, also known as Bu Dai Xi. The artists of Putashi we spoke share a lot of incredible insights into the art of glove puppetry. He explained how each puppet is a work of art with its own personality and role in performance. It was fascinating to hear about the challenges and rewards of keeping this traditional art from alive in a modern world. We also talked about the unique aspect of Zhang Zhou's puppetry style ensuring that the skills and knowledge are passed down to the new generations of artists. We were treated to a live performance. Watching the puppets come to life in such an action-packed display was truly mesmerizing. The way the puppets move and fought with such lifelike energy was the highlight of our visit.
After performance, there was an interactive section with the audience. It was great to see how engaged everyone was. We were lucky enough to visit the artist's workshop where a glove puppet was created from the initial carving of the wooden head to finer touches on the costumes. Thank you so much for joining us on this culture adventure. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's hidden culture with Tsinghua students. Until next time, see you in the next video.